Hi everyone! For today's lesson, we'll be learning about fractions. Let's take a look at our question. A stationery shop prepared red, blue and green pens for John and Peter. Three-sevenths of the pens are meant for John while the rest are given to Peter. One quarter of John's pens are green, three-eighths are red while the rest are blue. Two-fifths of Peter's pens are red and the rest are blue. If the shop prepared 282 blue pens in all, how many pens were prepared altogether? We will use the branch method to find the fraction of green pens and the fraction of red pens. So first, we will have the number of pens represented by one whole, out of which three sevenths of the pens are meant for John, which means that 4 over 7 of the pens are given to Peter. Out of John's pens, 1 quarter are green, 3 eighths of the pens are red, and the rest are blue. At this point, we do not know the fraction of John's pens that are blue, so we'll just have a question mark where the fraction should be. From the question, we know that two-fifths of Peter's pens are red and the rest are blue, which means that Peter does not have any green pens, so we'll indicate that with a zero. Two-fifths of Peter's pens are red and the rest are blue, which means that three-fifths of Peter's pens are blue. To find the fraction of pens that are green pens for John, we will have to multiply along the branches. So one quarter of John's pens are green and three-sevenths of all the pens belong to John. And so, one quarter multiplied by three-sevenths will give us 3 over 28. And so it means that 3 over 28 of all the pens are green pens for John. Next, to find the fraction of all the pens that are John's red pens, we will take 3 over 8, because 3 over 8 of John's pens are red, and 3 over 7 of all the pens belong to John. So 3 over 8 times 3 over 7 will give us 9 over 56. And so 9 over 56 of all the pens are John's red pens. And now we will find the fraction of all the pens that are Peter's red pens. Two-fifths of Peter's pens are red. Four-seven of all the pens belong to Peter, and so two-fifths multiplied by four-sevens will give us eight over thirty-five. And so eight over thirty-five of all the pens are Peter's red pens. We have found the fraction of pens that are John's green pens and the fraction of pens that are red pens for John and Peter. We will now find the fraction of pens that are blue pens. And so we will take the total number of pens represented by one whole. We will subtract 3 over 28, 9 over 56, and 8 over 35. We will first have to convert all these into fractions with common denominators. So we will now have 280 over 280 minus 30 over 280 minus 45 over 280 minus 64 over 280. This will give us 141 over 
280. This is the fraction of pens that are blue pens. From the question, we know that the shop prepared 282 blue pens in all. So what we will do now is take 282 divided by 141, which gives us 2. 2 is the value of 1 unit. To find the total number of units, we can refer to the denominator. And so, the total number of units is 280. To find the total number of pens, we will take 280 times 2, which gives us 560. And so our answer is 560 pens were prepared altogether.